What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about five fishing lures that you can use to not only catch a ton of fish on, but multiple species on each lure. So let's get right into it, but make sure you stay till the end because I'm going to leave a link to a giveaway that I'm doing where you can win a bunch of lures just like these that you can catch a ton of different fish on. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Starting on the small end of the spectrum, we're going to be using an inline spinner. Now you can use these to catch pretty much anything that swims, anything will eat a minnow, whether it's a panfish, you know, crappie, bluegill, perch, you can catch trout on these in streams, you can catch walleye, pike, bass, all different stuff will hit one of these. Pretty much anything that will hit a minnow is going to hit one of these. And these have a nice little action on them, so they've got a bunch of different colors. You can get them in different sizes. They've got vibration. So it's kind of a cool way to cover water quickly and catch a bunch of fish. A little inline spinner is never a wrong option. And especially in like shallow water, this is always a good option to catch a ton of fish. Now I've got this pile of baits over here that I cut off of all my rods and reels at the end of the season because I'm re-spooling all the reels, want to get fresh line on there. So actually a lot of these baits that you're seeing in this video are in this pile and one of them that stands out to me for catching multiple species is going to be a little jig and swim bait. This is like a three inch swim bait. There's all different ones out there. A couple of my favorites are going to be like the Rage Tail, the Kai Tex. There's a ton of different brands out there, but one I've found that's really affordable if you want to get multiple sizes, colors, or you're just on a budget is these little Bass Pro Shops ones. There's the little swimmers here, and these things are like half the price compared to like the Kytex and Rage Tails. Plus, you can find them on sale even cheaper, and they've got a nice little action on them. They're great for a trailer, you'll see later in the video, uh, as well as just on their own like this. Like I said, pretty much anything that swims eats a minnow. And this is a really nice option for catching basically anything that eats a minnow. You can get bigger sizes if you want to catch bigger fish or if you want to downsize like this in finesse situations when the fish are tough to catch or you're just going for numbers. This is always a good option. And there's a couple different heads I like to rig them on. One of them, as you can see here, is just a standard little jig head basically. I'm sure you've got these lying around in your tackle box and these are an awesome option to put on there, you can fish them a little bit deeper then. You can fish them faster, having that extra weight so they don't rise so much to the surface. But a little jig head on its own is always a super subtle, really nice action to imitate something super natural. There's a couple different ones though. Uh, one of them here is this Mega Bass screw head. And basically it's the exact same head as I showed you on that last one. But it has a little bit of a spinner on here, so it has a little bit of vibration. Um, it's not going to be as much flash as it is vibration on this one, which is really nice, so it's, you can still fish it. It's a small profile. You can catch those tough fish, um, but you do get a little bit of sound to go with the um, action of the lure, but still have it really natural uh, compared to like a crankbait or something. This is going to be a little bit more subtle. And then the last one, if you are on a little bit more active fish, let's say you're fishing pike, you're more active bass, whatever it may be, um, or you just want a little bit more action and flash, uh, underspin like this. There's a bunch of different brands that make them, like fish head spin and stuff. Uh, one of my favorites, however, is the Six Sense one. And you can see it's got a different screw lock on the back here to hold your bait on. And I really like these Six Sense ones because they hold your bait on a lot tighter. Um, you'll see it later in the video, but they're a lot tougher, so you don't have to worry about your bait sliding off or after you get a fish having to replace it because your baits will last a lot, lot longer on these screw heads. So those are my number two picks for this video. Now we're going to be getting out of the kind of panfish area for this third one and from now on these are going to be more into your bass, walleye, pike, even musky kind of size lures that we're using now. And one of my favorites for kind of all those species is a Berkley Flicker Shad. You can use these trolling or casting and these things are so cheap. They're only like $3.99 so you can stock up on different colors and stuff. Um, but they're nice, really kind of mid-depth diving, so you can fish them in shallow water, you can fish them a little bit deeper for a suspended fish, whatever it may be. And like I said, you can get them in a ton of colors, plus they're super cheap. You can see in my, some of my past videos, um, I've got walleye up to like 28 inches on these things, no problem. I haven't had issues with the hooks bending or anything, even though they're a really affordable bait. So it's kind of a really nice one. A couple of my favorite colors on this are going to be the gold, 
Uh, you can get all different ones. Here's a natural perch one. You can get fire tiger, um, always another good popular one. But basically whatever you want, you can find colors in here as well as custom colors. Um, but they're super affordable and they straight up catch fish, multiple species as well. Like I said, you can cast them, you control them, and they run really good no matter what you're doing. So for another affordable budget bait as well as a bait that catches a bunch of different species, the Flicker Shad's definitely going to be an awesome option. And my favorite size, by the way, is the size 7. You can get them smaller, you can get them bigger. Uh, 7 seems to be a good all-around one for me. Um, right depth that I'm looking for and everything like that. But they're super easy to fish. You really can't fish any of these baits wrongs. Um, but that's going to be number 3. Now the fourth one is probably going to be my favorite fishing lure in general, and that's going to be a jerkbait. These things are super fun to fish, plus they just straight up catch fish, whether it's cold water, warm water, any time of the season, because you can fish them so different. Uh, you can fish them super slow in colder water or just days that the fish aren't biting. Um, you can speed them up and catch those more active fish in schools. It's just a super fun way to catch a bunch of fish and basically finding fish is super easy with them because like i said you can cast them fast and pick off the active fish in a school um basically use it to find fish this is like the original fish finder um but they're just a super super nice way to cover water and catch a lot of fish and like i said just like the last uh the flicker shad these are going to be a bait that catches basically the same species that kind of mid-sized fish as well as i've also caught like muskies and stuff on them but not as much uh, targeting them. Um, and one of my favorite lures for this is the Mega Bass Vision 110. Yes, this is going to be a lot more expensive lure compared to some of the others and compared to a lot of jerk baits on the market. This is my favorite. You can also get a bunch of cheap ones. They don't make a difference. One thing though that I do like about the Mega Bass Vision 110 is that they offer kind of more of a subtle version. So a lot of jerk baits that you find on the market are going to be big flashy ones like this. If you see here, it's got big rattles in it. But one thing that Mega Bass offers is a silent version here. And you can see not only is the silent, it's also a really flat color. So it's a super subtle one. And when we shake it, it makes no noise. And basically, when the fish are all seeing lures day after day after day, or even you go cast one of these bigger ones, pick off the active fish, you can go back and catch some of those fish that are harder to catch on slower days, baits, uh, pressured fish, whatever it may be, these silent ones are a really nice option, and that's kind of why it's my favorite, is because they offer that silent version. Um, but like I said, you can buy a bunch of cheap ones as well. They've all got the same action. You can fish them the same ways, and they all catch fish basically the same. Like I said, fish them slow, fish them fast. See what the fish want, you can do all that and find fish super easy with these lures, which is why a jerk bait's gonna be number four, and they straight up catch fish as well as multiple species. Now we couldn't really come up with a fifth bait that's gonna work in all situations. Reason being, us here in the Midwest, uh, guys up in Canada, we've got big pike and muskies, which are gonna be eating bigger lures typically, and then you guys down south, out west, stuff like that are going to have, you know, your biggest fish being like a bass, um, maybe a dogfish, whatever it may be, a uh, snakehead, different things like that. So I've kind of divided this one into two lures, and you can use your judgment to figure out what one would be best in your situation, and what one you might like to pick up, basically, uh, for whatever your needs are, kind of match the hatch in your area. Now one of my favorites is going to be a swim jig. These are awesome for catching a bunch of different fish. Um, you can catch walleye on these, you can catch pike, obviously they're made for bass, so it's a really nice imitation for that. Dogfish, snakehead, whatever it may be, um, that's eating kind of those mid-size, like 3-4 inch fish. Um, these are an awesome option for, and like I said earlier in the video with that little swim bait, one of my favorite heads is the Six Sense head because it has that different screw lock on it. So it holds your trailer on there a lot tighter. So you can see here, I'm pulling on that pretty good and the bait's going nowhere. So in the long run on this one, I would end up spending the extra money to get the six cents one. It's only like a dollar or two more. Some of those other baits I showed you earlier in the video, you can go get a cheaper version and not really notice a difference. But this one I would spend the extra like dollar or two on just because in the long run, you're gonna save a lot more money 
on trailers, it's going to pay itself off right away. And you can get this in a bunch of different colors. So one of my favorites here is like a bluegill or perch color. And then you can also get different ones depending on what's in your lakes. This one will imitate more of like a shad, crappie, cisco, stuff like that. So that's going to be my first one for kind of the fifth lure. Um, and there is a different one that I'm looking at trying here. I just picked these up, so I haven't used them yet. I'm interested to see how this uh, bait keeper works on these ones because it's a different brand and kind of a different style. But I did find that this Mega Bass makes this one here. And the cool thing about this one is kind of like that underspin I showed you earlier in the video. This actually has a blade on the bottom of it. So it's going to be a little bit more flashy and stuff. So I'm kind of interested to see how this one works out. Um, I'll leave a link to that one in the video description if you want. Um, like I said, I have not tried it yet. And then the other fifth one that we're going to use is more for like your bass, uh, pike, muskie, stuff like that. Those bigger fish up north here. And that's going to be more like a muskie spinnerbait. These are good for catching different sizes of big predator fish like that. As well as catching numbers compared to some baits. Like you could go throw a big two pound medusa. Um, but you're targeting less fish then. So for you guys that are trying to catch a bunch of fish. Something like the slot master here from Joe Booker. Um, it's going to be a really nice option. You can catch a bunch of fish. Like I said, we've got a bunch of different species, walleye, pike, bass, muskie on these things. And you can get these in different colors as well. One of my favorite kind of like all around colors is like a white and brown because it imitates a bunch of different stuff like a walleye, smallmouth, um, different things like that. So that's going to be the other fifth one that I chose. So hopefully you guys can use that knowledge of these five lures to kind of catch fish, uh, catch more fish for you guys. If you're going into a tackle shop, you want to try some new baits, or you're just getting into fishing, catching different fish. Hopefully these are some options that help you guys. Uh, if you did like this video, leave a thumbs up below, and while you're down there, make sure to subscribe. But also, like I mentioned, I'm going to have in the end card here a video that I'm giving away a bunch of lures like this. So make sure you click on this video and take a look. Let's get you guys some lures and get you hooked up. Um, but thanks for watching again. We'll see you guys on the next video.